Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about FM synthesis within Retrosynth. So I just switch over to FM synthesis in the oscillator menu here. And uh, this is what it looks like to use FM. Now, FM stands for frequency modulation. Basically, what happens in frequency modulation is you have two oscillators. One is the modulator, one is the carrier. And what happens is the waveform of the modulator is actually used to modulate the frequency of the carrier. So think of the modulator as an LFO, but it's not a low frequency oscillator, it's a, an audio frequency, so a rate that you can hear, so it's not as low frequency as a low frequency oscillator. But when you do that, when the modulator is at an audible tone, and it's also modulating the carrier frequency, you create a complex harmonic structure by doing that. You create harmonics and inharmonics. It creates very sort of metallic sounds when you're using frequency modulation. And what you're doing here by adjusting most of these sliders is you are changing or adjusting the tuning ratios between modulator and carrier. So behind the scenes, it's actually just tuning the frequencies of the two, but in a way that allows you to kind of choose the amount of harmonic content and inharmonic content that you get. So let's have a listen. So yeah, that's a very rich metallic sort of sound already. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is increase the intensity of the FM. So here is basically no modulation, you're just hearing two tones. Or more than two tones. And if you increase it, there's more modulation there. And here you can adjust the harmonic content. And the inharmonic content. See, it's just, again, they're both adjusting the tuning ratios between modulator and carrier. And here you can adjust shape as well. And as with the other methods of synthesis in Retrosynth, we have modulation, such as low frequency oscillate, oscillators and filters to modulate, even further modulate what's happening inside the FM synth right now. So I can either switch this to modulate the actual FM or modulate the harmonic content. So let's choose, let's do LFO. Let's keep this, turn this quite low so we can actually hear it and see what it sounds like when it's modulating the FM. So it's the equivalent of moving the slider here. And switch over to harmonic. Definitely a bit more interesting this time. And of course we have vibrato as well to really mess things up a bit more. Great. So that's basically how you use FM synthesis within Retrosynth. Like I said, all of these sliders are basically adjusting the tuning ratios between modulator and carrier, but at its basic FM synthesis is just one oscillator modulating the frequency of another. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.